hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how i make scrunchies for my business the kind of elastic that i use the kind of fabric that i use the measurement of the fabric that i use the measurement of the elastic that i use i hope you enjoy watching this video over here you see me taking the measurement um, for my fabric and on fold i have 20.5 inches um, on fold i have 41 inches i mean because my fabric is on fold total of 41 inches uh, i had um, pieces of fabric that i just decided to join together to make a scrunchie you see what i mean i have a fold at the other end of the fabric and the length of this fabric is five inches five inches for the width and 41 inches for the length was what i used for this scrunchie in my previous video i used five inches for the width and 60 inches for the length and you see me here um, showing you that I'm going to join the open end of this fabric. So I'm going to sew it with my sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can use your um, needle and thread to join it together. So this is me sewing it. And for this fabric, I had a piece that measured um, 20.5 or 20 inches in length. I had another piece that measured 20 inches in length. But because I wanted the um, scrunchie to be 41 inches, I decided to join this fabric together. So you can also do that if you don't have a complete um, length of fabric, you can join um, your fabrics together to give you the length that you want. I'm done sewing. And right here, I placed the joint part on the table with the wrong side facing the table. I pick the top of the fabric and I fold it um, till it becomes like a tiny loop. Um, um, and I fold, you see me folding it here and I fold and I fold and I place that um, in the middle. I take the top fabric, the good side and join it to the bottom and I'm going to sew around till I get to the end of the scrunchie. I'll be showing you this again so you can understand what I mean. This method that I'm using is called the burrito method. I like the burrito method because it is faster. I don't have to keep turning my fabric inside out. So this is what I do. I place the fabric on the table, wrong side on the table, where I sewed on the part of, on the table. I pick the top of the fabric. I raise it up and then I fold it to be in the middle so that I can bring the top of the fabric to the bottom of the fabric and I'm going to sew it all the way round. Yes, this is what I mean bring the top and the bottom together to sew it all the way around so this is me sewing and i'm showing you here I, how i sew it i fold the middle part and i place it inside and i sew remember to back stitch when you start sewing and i do this so that i don't sew um on the fabric that's supposed to be in the middle why i move it all the way into the middle i bring the top to the bottom and then i pull and you see what I mean by I pull. I pull the inner fabric and I pull the outer fabric. So I fold, I pull, bring the top to the bottom and I continue sewing. Remember, this helps you not to sew on your fabric. I pull both top and bottom, I pull and then I fold, bring top to bottom and I keep sewing. And I do this all the way around. At this time, while you're sewing, you can listen to music of your choice or watch uh, a soap opera or a show that you really love. Or you can just do this in silence just like I did. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Remember to like this video, share and subscribe. Please remember to give me a thumbs up because that helps me to know that you guys like this video. And then I can make more videos on how to make scrunchies scrunchies that I make for my business that my customers love. So I, f I f pull, pull top, pull bottom, bring the top to the bottom together and then I keep sewing. I sew all the way to the bottom, move that inward top to bottom and I keep sewing till I get to the part where I started, almost the part where I started. And then I leave like one inch so that I can use that to bring all my fabric together or pull all my fabric out after i'm done sewing you see what i mean as i go along so i pull that's the thread where i started from and then this is to show you that you're almost at the end of um, your fabric 
then backstitch, take it out of the machine, and then you sew. You cut out the thread, sorry. Yes, yeah, so that's the opening that I left. And with that opening, I'm going to be pulling out the scrunchie. You see what I mean? So I pull, 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 pull until everything comes out. And then I have just like one continuous loop. That's what a burrito maker does. It's easier. You don't have to start um, bringing your fabric from inside out, turning it and all of that. At this point, you can give it a good press if you want. I'm just showing you the opening. And I like to use safety pins because I feel more comfortable using this. I know some people like to use a tool to thread the elastic in, but I prefer safety pin. And this is me getting out my elastic. In my previous video, which I'm going to link in the bottom below in this video, I used a bigger elastic. But for this, I'll show you the size of the elastic. Just keep watching. I use eight inches for my elastic, for the length of the elastic. Eight inches for this um, elastic for a 41 inch fabric, five, um, five inches width. And then you can sew, join together, maybe on a 2.5 inch or on a 5 inch, whatever is comfortable for you. So you see me pinning down the elastic on one end, showing you guys the opening where I'm going to thread my elastic through. And then pin on the other end. And then I like to use one of these um, safety pins to hold down on my fabric so that when I go all the way around, I would I can always come back I don't lose my elastic I don't start looking for my elastic so I thread it all the way I do this I move it all the way around and it's easier for me and it's faster also for me I like I prefer this method rather remember to like this video subscribe and share my video and if you have comments or questions please leave it in the comment section and I'll reply to those comments if you also want me to show you a different type uh, method of making scrunchies Please let me know and I will do those videos for you guys. So this is me coming to the end um, of the scrunchie, pulling out my elastic. And I like to make a knot. I know some people like to sew, but I like to make a knot. This is me fluffing my scrunchie to see if I like what it's giving. And of course I do. It looks so nice. Then I make a knot. I've been doing this knot for a while, but sometimes it still gets difficult to make a knot. So I make that knot. I pull, 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 I stretch it as much as I can just to know that my knot is secured in there. Then remember the opening that we left, that we passed our elastic through? You're going to take it to your machine and close it up. At this point, while you're closing up, if you have like a, um, your business name, your business logo, your business sticker, you can sew it in there. Or if you want to make this a small, a large or a medium, you can also put the size tag there. So this is me closing the elastic. I'm um, sorry, this is me closing the fabric because I'm done. My elastic is in there. It's safe. It's secured in there. And then I close, cut out all the threads from the body of the fabric. And every small thread, I try to use a smaller scissors to cut out all those threads so that um, there's nothing out there then this is me arranging the the fluff of the scrunchie at the point i was thinking i should have used seven inches of elastic for this but the moment i put it on my wrist i felt oh eight inches worked best because it was there was no tension there was no pulling and you know for scrunchies we don't want it to be pulling or whatever so this is me putting it on my wrist and arranging all the fluffs and I like what it's giving and the fabric looks so beautiful. And I know a 60 inches length of fabric will be fuller than this, but you can also make this to sell. And remember, if you're making this for yourself, enjoy making your scrunchies, use it for yourself, look beautiful. If you're making this for business, go out there and make that money. And this is the size of the elastic that I use. Remember to like my video, share and subscribe. Thank you.